I'm Judy Wellman, uh, and I work with a lot of uh, public history projects, mostly in New York State, relating to historic sites that relate to the Underground Railroad, women's rights, or African American life. That's all I do. But I do a lot of it. And right now I'm working on a project on the Michigan Street Baptist Church in Buffalo, which is the second oldest black church in Buffalo and the oldest standing black church. And we're working on a National Register nomination to um, upgrade its status to national importance, which we think it really was. And I came to see if you might have some material that shows the relationship of that black church to larger Baptist organizations. And particularly for a woman named Mary Talbert, who was very active with the National Association of Colored Women's Clubs, vice president of the NAACP in charge of their anti-lynching campaign, and very active also in the Michigan Street Baptist Church. And I came especially for your National Black Convention records, especially for the Women's Auxiliary, the Women's Convention of the National Black Convention thinking that surely Mary Talbert would have been involved with that group. And what I've discovered is that she's nowhere to be found in that group, which was primarily um, a Southern and Western organization. Only a couple of black churches in New York City were involved at all that show up in the records at least. So now I'm really wondering, they, the Michigan Street Baptist Church was very active with the Buffalo Baptist Union, the local group. Were they affiliated with the Northern Baptist Convention? Were they affiliated with American Baptists? How did they identify themselves? And I grew up as a Seventh-day Baptist, so I'm quite familiar with all the different kinds of Baptists there are. And I'm more aware now about the frustrations of not having a kind of neat little organizational chart to work with. So what I'm going to do is go home and do a little more research myself and then come back here and see if I can figure out how they fit with all the other black Baptists and white Baptist conventions you have and materials. So it's been kind of a learning experience for me in an unexpected way.